This is the piece that we are going to be working on today. It is definitely a vintage piece and an interesting one at that. There are five drawers total. The top two have these interesting details and the bottom have these built-in handle drawers. It is 100% wood and in pretty good condition other than it's super short and it smells like smoke. So let's get into it. So this is the dresser that we're going to be working on today. My boyfriend actually picked it up and he had gotten it for free, but we didn't notice that it had a terrible smoke smell when we were there until we got it back here. And now it's stinking up the whole workshop. So I thought this would be a great learning opportunity to show you guys how to get smoke out of a dresser. So the first thing that we're gonna do is clean the piece. We have to clean it real good. So I'm gonna be using Dawn dish soap. And then there are another few methods that you could try, like sprinkling baking soda just about everywhere. That should get rid of the smell. Otherwise, I've heard mixing vinegar in with water and washing it down that way also works. But we just don't have the time for that. So instead of taking it out, we're going to be sealing it in. And I will show you guys exactly how to do that once we get to that step. But first, right now, we're going to start with cleaning. I like to use Dawn dish soap, so that is what we're going to be using in this video. Now with only cleaning the top and the side, I wanna show you guys how yellow this water is. So if you look at it, you guys know what regular water looks like, but all of this yellow, that is from the cigarette smoke that we smell. So we're, we're gonna try to get as much of it off as we can, but I really don't think, this has been sitting in the house for years. So we're not gonna be able to get it all off. When it comes to wood and smoke, Wood is very porous, so the smoke can really just soak into the wood and unfortunately we'll be able to get what's on the outside out and even the stuff that's on the inside of the drawers, but we won't be able to go through that wood and get it out, so we're going to have to seal it in. Let's get this piece as cleaned off as we can and then we'll get started on sealing it all inside. When I tell you I spent about an hour cleaning this piece, I am not kidding you. I made sure to clean as much as I could. I went over the same spot several times. I did the inside of the drawers, the outside of the drawers. I did the inside of the dresser and all, just about everywhere. All right, this is the second time that I've had to switch out this water. I'm going to do it for a third time, and then we're gonna get this piece outside because I cannot stand this smell anymore. Now that this piece is as cleaned off as it's gonna get, I went to Lowe's and picked up this Zinzer Bullseye Shellac Clear Sealer, and I got this piece outside and just went to town on spraying it. I sprayed it everywhere. Even the places you wouldn't think to put a sealer, I put it. This includes the tops, the sides, and the inside of the dresser. 
you want to make sure that you're spraying this in a well ventilated area that is why i decided to do it outside i would also recommend putting a mask on i definitely should have had a mask on for this especially since it was a little bit windy so definitely get one of those on if you are doing something like this and i know that it looks like it's super cold outside with the snow but it was actually warming up so it was a perfect weather to do this As far as how much do you want to use, I used two cans just as reference for this. I used more than you would think you would want to be using for this because you want to try to spray every square inch because if there is one part of the dresser that doesn't have this stuff like sealing it in, you're still going to be able to smell that smoke smell. So I just seriously sprayed on top. I sprayed everywhere. You'll notice that I even sprayed the back of the dresser. I know it's not the prettiest. This actually did show up. It lightened a little bit, but because people are usually putting their dressers to the back of a wall, I wasn't too worried about it. But I definitely did spray this too because the back smelled just as much as the rest of the dresser. And yes, the drawers too. I did everywhere from the fronts of the drawers, the inside of the drawers, even the back where the slide was. Um, it dried very clear so that I was really happy about that. Alright, so we've now gotten this piece back inside. I did let it stay outside overnight just so that I could make sure that it dried and the smell of that product is very strong so I didn't want that in here. So we left it outside, it's nice and dry. It dried clear as if it's not even on it, but I can 100% say that the smell is definitely sealed in. I am not smelling that any longer, so that is perfect. While it was drying overnight, Avery, my boyfriend, if you don't know who he is, also got the dimensions to make a custom base for it. So there is now a custom base on it, um, just adding a little bit more height to it because it is such a short dresser. So the next step is going to be painting and because we are going to be using Beyond Paint today, we do not have to prime this piece. That is also why I decided not to sand as well because with Beyond Paint, you don't actually have to sand. So this piece is ready for some paint. So I'm gonna go get the paint ready and in just a few seconds, we'll be ready to go okay so now that i have everything ready to go we are going to get started on painting like i said we are using beyond paint here i chose the color sage green i feel like greens have been doing really well in my market and probably yours too so we are going to go ahead with this sage green color now with beyond paint you don't have to sand you don't have to prime and you also don't have to seal either so that is why we're not actually priming this piece and really we just have to do two or three coats of this and then we're done beyond paint recommends rolling this on so I've got my roller here and I just like to put aluminum foil over my tin here so that 
it's easier when I'm picking it up. I don't have to wash it out. I just pick it up and throw it away. And then it also recommends in the spots that you can't actually roll, you use a chip brush. Now, I don't have a chip brush, but as long as I'm using the tapping motions, I think we'll be okay. And I'll let you know towards the end of the video if I recommend that you actually use a chip, chip brush and this is not the best alternative, we will see. But otherwise, I'm just gonna start pouring this in and get ready to paint. Now, I'm gonna be cut off a little bit so you can see right here, but this paint is a lot chunkier than you might think. So when you open it up, don't be alarmed when it's all chunky because that's actually how it's supposed to be. It's a lot thicker um, than most paints that you may be used to. So. There is also a slight odor to it. It's a lot stronger, but don't be alarmed by that either. That is normal. So we're just gonna pour some of that out. You can tell it's a little bit chunkier. So if you look there, it kind of just looks like a glob of paint, but that's normal. I know a lot of people get really worried about texture when it comes to rolling and especially like doing the tapping motion for a chip brush, but I want to tell you guys that I have used Beyond Paint several times at this point now and it always dries with a very smooth texture. Now if you look up close, like super close, just like a few inches away, you may see a little bit of texture, but just step back a little bit and you won't see any of that texture at all. I love smooth finishes and so I still approve of this. At this point, I decided to take all of the drawers out just so that I would have easier access to not only doing the drawers when it came time to that, but also parts of the dresser where the drawers actually covered up. I wanted to make sure to get that so that if the drawers were ever taken out by its new owner, it looked cohesive and done all around. As much as I love how cool these drawers are, it did not make it easy to actually paint them. I decided for this one to just kind of roll as much of it on, but then I had to tap kind of underneath the handle part because you would still be able to see that. For these more curved pieces, I just kind of tapped around the curved edges and then I was also able to get away with just kind of painting on as normal the middle flat sections. But if you do find that the paint is kind of rubbing off because that can happen when you're doing the swiping motion and that's why Beyond Paint recommends the tapping, um, just go ahead and tap through that and that should be just fine as well.
This first coat dried in about two hours, so after two hours, I was able to get started on the second coat. It dried super smooth, so I didn't have to sand in between. But after this, I'm pretty much done with this project. This dresser has no handles, so I don't have to put those back on. So as soon as I'm done with this second coat, we can get into the final reveal. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already as it really helps my channel grow. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.